morning and uh, welcome to my second um, video blog and I've called this one this week something for the 40 somethings plus because I had some great feedback from people and saying well how's this limited to uh, just 40 somethings well I didn't do that for any other reason and people are sort of roughly around my age but all a bit younger so I don't want to preclude anyone so something for the 40 somethings plus okay I've uh, just come back from my walk I've uh, been early this morning uh, up about half six I've done my uh, 40, 42 minutes it was this morning. Um, I'm just a morning person, that's all, and it helps with the family situation, so I get up and get out. Um, my wife is working today, so um, you know a couple of the kids will, will, will go off to school. I can take the, one of the other kids to school, um, and my day is quite busy. I've got a lot of meetings today, but filming this morning, and then i got Scrum Fight tonight, so it, it, it pays for me to go early this morning. I'm a morning person anyway, but I enjoyed it. Just had my... Um, Recovery, which is banana and uh, and a shake, but more about that later on in uh, in some of these video blogs. And why am I doing this? Well, uh, I want to engage with people who are like-minded around my sort of age, but all a bit younger and who are a little bit more health-minded. And um, obviously, I want to stay fit myself, so it motivates me if I am engaging with you. Thanks for the feedback last week as well; it was great. So I, that motivates me to keep doing this sort of thing. And you now, ever since I played uh, football and cricket for Wales when I was 15 year old. Uh, up until now I've been involved in some form of elite sport so there's a lot of knowledge I've accumulated, people I've met and worked with and it's time to give that back, use it, enjoy it, share it and uh, that'll culminate in some boot camps, some walking for weight loss, some activity weekends that you can get in touch with uh, me about. You can get in touch with me if you've come on the website, just the contact page or the usual means through social media, get in touch, we'll, um, we'll converse there and then uh, I'll put something in next week. Uh, my walk today was a little bit about habit. Um, I, I have a couple of habits. I'm a firm believer in that. I, I, I try not to eat after a certain time, you know, eight o'clock in the night. I, I find it gets a bit stodgy. I like to get up in the morning and uh, and then have a fasted walk. So that means, you know, I haven't I haven't eaten since eight o'clock the night before, and uh, you get some benefits from that in, in your walk. Um, I try and hit a, a, a heart rate of, of just about um, 110, 120 if I can. Uh, it puts you in what they call the fat burning zone. It's all about um, fat metabolism and how your your body utilizes uh, fat and carbohydrate. And I don't wanna, I, I don't get too technical because uh, it's not about that. It's a bit further down the line from some more experts. But uh, you can find out a little bit more online and uh, and do some research and get into it if you want to. But now we'll take this down to nutrition and a bit more high intensity exercise. But for now, it's just about engaging in people, doing a little bit more, getting a bit healthier, getting a little bit more active. Uh, another habit of mine is um, is to listen to podcasts. This is a good one when you're out walking, particularly on your own. You can you can use your phone and get into to to, to any sort of thing really. Um, yeah, you, you you know my, my my thing at the moment is I've got a radio show, so obviously I get I uh, I listen to the Rugby Nation show, so get involved with that. But you can you can get onto iTunes or you can have this little um, podcast app. You can see the the, the purple one. Uh, that's pretty good. You can find your own podcast, and I, I listen to all sorts of things. Um, Desert Island Discs is something I've got into. You know, you might you might be something else you want to get into, but you, know, you can listen to podcasts, upskill yourself, learn. There's loads of stuff out there, or just listen to some music. And I, I, the other habit today is that um, I've been on a usual route, so 20 minutes around my village and back. I know it's comfortable, and um, yeah, and I know I'm going to do it in 40 minutes. So it's one of those ones today. The the other thing is. Um, uh, I'm interested. In. One of the things I wanted to share this week was um, trying to hit 10,000 steps in a day. Now it, it, it creates a bit of a goal. And I like goals. My role as a coach to have goals is really important. And uh, the NHS say that on average, the average person in the UK only takes about 3,000 steps a day. Uh, if you can get to 10,000 steps a day, you're, you're covering about four or five miles, nine kilometres or so, and that's that's pretty good. That's pretty active. And you can do things like park the car a little bit further away from drop, dropping the children to school or going to the shops. You can walk up steps instead of going up escalators. You can move around the house a little bit more. Um, get out and have a little walk uh, in the evening after dinner, you know, w which would help that. And you can record that. Look, you can, you can either have some sort of jazzy watch that I showed you in last week's blog, or if you've got an iPhone, then it does it for you. I know you won't have your phone on you all the time in the day, but there's a little icon that you'll find built into your iPhone called Health. You, you tap on that and it'll monitor things for you through the day. 
So um, it'll, it'll tell you how many steps you've done. So I've done about 5,000 steps with my walk today. So a 40 minute walk and I've, I've covered more than the average person in the UK has done today. And it's not even half past seven in the morning yet. So, um, you know, uh, that, 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 that's something simple. And goals are really important and habits, I think, that you can create. Them. Same with your diet. And, uh, and that's something I want to talk a little bit further down the line with. But, you know, the, the, I've become a little bit more conscious about that. Look, nobody likes a pint. Those who know me, uh, nobody likes a pint more than me. And I all like my, my cravings of chocolate and, and, and chips now and again. But it's, uh, it's, it's moderating those a little bit more and understanding that the more rubbish, the more toxins that you put in your body, the more uh, your body's going to react to that. And uh, you get into a, a state of a little bit of... Uh, N not as healthy as perhaps you should be and uh, there's a good analogy I listened to on a podcast the other day as well if you're more active your rivers flowing a little bit more as opposed to a stagnant pond I like analogies and a lot of my players over the years will tell you that okay so um, there, there's an update on, on a blog few little tips few little habits um, I'm gonna push this on a little bit now uh, uh, next week so get in touch you know tell me your thoughts what would you like to talk about uh, what sort of other habits are, are good um, very shortly I'll be getting some experts in, but uh, for now, stay in touch and uh, happy walking.